Hi, it's Ken Ham, President of Anson Genesis Creation Museum in the Ark Encounter. I'm here at the Ark Encounter site and hope we continue to get good phone signal here so I can do this live broadcast. We had a little problem before. But I'm here at the back of the Ark actually. Uh, you can see the three towers here that actually the Ark anchors to and they have the exit stairs and the elevators and also the restrooms in them. And I'm going to, for the very first time tonight, walk up the ramp that takes you into the first deck and that's where people will actually enter the ark and I haven't done that before on this ramp because last time I was down here it wasn't finished so we're going to do that also I wanted to tell you about a job fair that's being held in Dry Ridge Dry Ridge Kentucky it's just a couple of exits north of where we are and that's on this coming Thursday from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Ridge uh, Banquet Center that's at the Dry Ridge Outlet Center and that's where there'll be a job fair. And if you're interested in jobs for the Ark Encounter, uh, you can go to arkencounter.com slash jobs. And I'll tell you a bit more about that uh, in a moment. But Answers in Genesis, Creation Museum, Ark Encounter, I think right now we've got about 400 staff. And of course, there'll be more uh, as the Ark Encounter comes online here. And I'm going to go inside tonight and have a look on the third floor. They've been installing exhibits, see what they've done there. Might have a look on the second deck, then come outside. And if we still got good phone signal, I'll show you a view from the front. So let's walk over here. Uh, one of the reasons I want to be down here today too, it's the 7th of June. And even though there's still a lot going on here, uh, this will open to the public on the 7th of July. And so that's one month from today. It's actually four weeks and two days, but one month from today, uh, today's date being June the 7th and uh, then we're going to on July the 7th open this to the public. So we're going to walk in here. I haven't walked on this uh, concrete here before because this is new. They just put this in. The stamped concrete. This is all part of uh, the queue lines over here. And uh, so we're going to walk up here and uh, follow our way up the ramp. Uh, you can see uh, a lot of people working uh, over here uh, so step over here okay um, this is something new for me I haven't done this so the queue lines are under here to my right uh, you can see they're putting the, the wood on there the three keels that they built underneath there you'll be standing underneath the ship and that's the feeling it will give you of standing underneath the ship and uh, there'll be some uh, video monitors in there There'll be a number of props and things too, interesting things for people to see. And there's going to be a program. We hired some special actors for this where a tabloid newspaper is interviewing Noah. And of course, <laughs> they're scoffing at Noah. You know, the scoffers that scoffed at Noah. So uh, here we are walking up this ramp. Wow, this is a substantial ramp. Of course, the whole place is handicapped and accessible. Um, but you have to do that by code today anyway. And of course, uh, we do that. And I see they put the fans in here as well. So this is an open area. They got fans and lights. Uh, just amazing how much work they do in just a couple of days. I was down here on Saturday and this ramp, the structure was here, but not the flooring on the ramp and the fans weren't in and the lights weren't in and they didn't have all that concrete poured. Amazing what they do in two days. Man, they could build another arc in the, in the month. Uh, that it takes uh, to get up to the opening day. But uh, we will be open on July 7. Here we are. Well, this is great. Um, first time I've done this. And as we, we can look out there, I mean, the sun is shining in there. I'm not sure what that'll do to the video. But you can see a couple of the barns there for uh, the zoo. Uh, the nice wooden one is the petting zoo, actually, or part of the petting zoo. So we come up here and we're going to come into the first deck of the Ark. And then what I'll do is go down to the centre tower and I think we'll walk up the stairs. This is actually going to be uh, where you walk in and the, the first deck is meant to be as if Noah had been putting the cages in here. Wow, look at all these cages that they put in since I was here last time. You can see there are cages down here on this side and uh, they have all those structures on they can actually feed and water the creatures that are inside 
you're not going to see the creatures inside these cages. In the bigger cages you will, you'll see the sculptured animals. But in these, you're going to hear sounds. And you'll hear the sounds of the animals. In fact, this is going to be more dimly lit as you walk in here. And you can look down here and see all these cages here. So the first deck uh, has cages and lots of storage jars that Noah has. And uh, those storage jars uh, will be over on the other side. We won't go over there today. I was over there the other day. Uh, but let's just go down to the middle tower. And as I said, the first deck is actually set up uh, to be like Noah would have packed it, we believe, you know, with cages and storage and so on. Um, but uh, we'll go down to the center tower here and just looking at uh, all the things they're, they're doing around here. You can see some of the pot storage on the other side over here uh, behind me. And uh, as we go down here, we've got some people who are working till 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning, I believe, putting in the railings. These, these are for the railings that go right through the whole arc. It's one of the last things that they have to get done, uh, put railings all around uh, the open areas. So they're working on that. The floor here already has bamboo. The floor's already been done. It's a matter of just ripping up all this uh, paper they've got down there. And of course, you know, three, four days before the arc opens, I'll be taking up all this paper and then they'll be just cleaning everything. So as we come in here, you'll probably hear some noise. There are people working, putting in uh, restrooms. Um, so we can just go in there past, well, let's go over this side. Might be better, keep away from uh, the workmen. And so we'll come in over here. This is one of the levels where the restrooms are. So I'm just gonna walk straight up. This is my exercise for the night. We're gonna walk up the stairs. There are four sets of exit stairs like this uh, that enable us to exit legally up to 10 feet. sound there for a moment because I stood on my microphone cord and pulled the plug out. Okay, so we're on the second deck going up to the uh, third deck. You know, it's great to have like an iPhone, smartphone, this is an iPhone, and to go direct to Facebook Live. It has its limitations, of course. As we come up here, I'll have a look at a couple of the questions people have asked as we come onto the third deck here. I'll just show you, it looks like they have some of the railings up here. As you can see, yeah, see, see these railings here? That's what it'll be like. Now I'm puffing, that's a long way up. It's like six stories up. Where can you stay? Ah, huh. well, if you go to the arkencounter.com site, you'll be able to look on there and see we have a third party that is actually lining up hotels in the area and you can go to that site it'll uh, be a link that'll say lodging and you can go there and they will um, have all the information there for you but basically you could stay in georgetown 30 minutes to the south or lexington north lexington or 30 minutes to the north you can go up to Northern Kentucky, uh, Cincinnati, and also uh, the exit to the north of here, two miles to the north is Dry Ridge, Dry Ridge, Kentucky. So if you're looking for lodging, Dry Ridge, Georgetown, Lexington, Northern Kentucky, Florence area, Cincinnati, but go to arkencounter.com. Go to arkencounter.com and click on our link for lodging. It'll take you to a third party that is exclusively looking after all of uh, the lodging uh, that we recommend uh, in the area. We're in Noah's living quarters here, by the way, and uh, you can see that uh, there's been a lot of work going on here. Uh, yes, we do have combo tickets for the Ark and the Museum. And again, if you go to arkencounter.com and when the fr first page comes up, you'll see where it says ticket options. You click on there and it'll go and show you the basic ticket options and then it, it has a link for more uh, detailed ticket options and you can go to there 
One of the real popular ones we believe is going to be the $99 unlimited for seven days, seven consecutive days, unlimited visits to the Creation Museum and the Ark, including parking, because parking at the Ark is going to be $10. It's a massive car park, cost us millions of dollars to build. Uh, so uh, the $99 one, but we do have a combo ticket where you can go to the Ark for one day and for the museum for two days. And the reason the museum is two days is because traditionally it's been a two day ticket. So we're going to leave it at a two day ticket, uh, but the combo ticket will be the Ark for one day and then the museum. Uh, for two days. So we're here in the stern area of the uh, ark and I'm just looking down there to see yeah, they're starting to get that timber on the on the end down there and working on that. The floor is already done so let's go down and see what they've done down here on the third deck uh, tonight. Also again I want to talk to you about uh, job fair at Dry Ridge, Kentucky, so that's just a couple of miles north of Williamstown, right there at the exit on Interstate 75 at Dry Ridge, at the Ridge Banquet Center, and it's going to be at the uh, Dry Ridge Outlet Mall right there, right at the interchange, and that's on this Thursday from 1 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, they're getting the Ice Age exhibit up here, uh, then in this one over here, this is going to be uh, the Babel exhibit, original languages and so-called races and so on. Uh, will there be live birds in the aviary? No, we're not having live animals living in the ark, uh, but we're going to have live animal programs. There'll be um, people who are animal specialists walking around at various times and doing live animal programs. And then we have the zoo, the Ararat Ridge Zoo, which is behind the ark. And then we have a petting zoo associated with that. Let me see, some other questions people have here. Will this be handicapped accessible? Everything, basically everything I believe, is handicapped accessible. You know, by, by code these days you have to do that anyway. And of course we'd want to do that. So when you get dropped off at the guest services building, when the shuttles come up from the parking area, and they're those shuttles that actually have ramps so that you can take wheelchairs onto them, you can take strollers onto them. Uh, Double strollers will be allowed in the ark, but only if they're inline double strollers. Uh, we have strollers for rent. We have a uh, limited number of those electric scooters and wheelchairs. That's at the guest services drop off when they come over on the shuttles. And uh, you can uh, rent those. And then uh, there's ramps all the way through. Uh, there, there will be blacktop uh, paths uh, outside and then ramps all the way up the ark. Uh, and then uh, blacktop over to the petting zoo as well. So uh, here on the third deck, uh, this is where the M Museum of the Bible exhibit is going to be in here. Uh, the Museum of the Bible, their a massive building and exhibit space is going to be opened in Washington DC in 2017, but they're putting a mini Museum of the Bible in here for us as well. And of course we'll be uh, publicizing that, uh, the Green family from Hobby Lobby uh, that are building that. Okay, we're going to go down the ramp here. Um, we're on the third, third deck, and we're going to go down to the second deck. And I know it looks like there's a lot of work to be done, but they are really moving ahead uh, with all of this. And we have night shift here tonight, as you can see. Do we have any more questions here? Let me have a look. How many artisans do you have working to get the ark ready? Hmm. You know, uh, <laughs> I would say, uh, well, let me put it this way. Contractors, there's about uh, 300 people here every day. We probably have of our own staff plus volunteers every day involved in this. Probably uh, wouldn't surprise me if it's up around uh, 100 to 150. Uh, so there's a lot of people involved. They got the bamboo flooring on uh, the ramp here now, I see. That is really great. We're looking down on the uh, second deck, uh, looking down some of the big cages there. Uh, you can see the getting ready won't be long and they'll install the animals, not live animals, but sculptured animals in there. How long does it take to walk through the exhibit? Now that is a good question because the more I look at these exhibits, which they're putting in, and, and by the way, the way it's working, we have a number of artists and sculptors and fabricators and others 
and certain ones of them are in charge of a certain number of exhibits. So they're bringing all the material down right now and then it'll be like instant exhibits. I'll install very, very quickly. Uh, oh, the fairy tale arc exhibit. Wow, I see that they've got the outside of that almost completed. Uh, let's have a look at that. You can see some of the chandeliers in front of that. They're going to hang the lights. Uh, but this is the uh, fairy tale uh, arc exhibit here. And you can see the giraffe over here, the other giraffe with its neck sticking up. And this is going to be a very classy exhibit. But we have at the back uh, lots of books, probably over 100 children's books, that illustrate Noah's Ark as a, an overloaded bathtub with giraffe sticking out the chimney about to sink at any moment. And we're going to be telling people, look, don't give the idea to your kids. This is a fairy tale. This is a real event. The Ark was a real ship. And we need to make sure they understand that. Uh, will it be camping nearby so that we can make a family trip out of it? The answer is yes. The, um, if, if you look up camping in the, you know, I, I don't know the name of all the sites. Uh, there's, there's a couple near the Creation Museum, I know, but uh, I believe there's one at Dry Ridge, a camping area. So uh, the, the areas, when you're doing a Google search, put in Dry Ridge, uh, Williamstown, uh, put in Georgetown, Lexington, Florence, and then uh, over the river in Indiana, uh, near the Creation Museum, Lawrenceburg, put, put in those search names to come up with uh, campgrounds. And there may be some people watching even from uh, Dry Ridge that know of a campground there, I forget its name, but they could uh, comment on that and put that on there. If anyone else knows of any of the places in the area, they can do that, and the rest of you can get to see that. Uh, we're just looking out the door here on uh, deck two. And uh, so tell us where you're from, by the way, what country you're from. I'd be interested to know uh, where you're watching from. We're, uh, it's amazing the number of people from Australia that end up watching on uh, Facebook here. And a number of people from Australia and Europe that have said they're coming over uh, to see the ark. Again, all the bamboo flooring here is done. I mean, that looks, it looks rough, but that's because it's got all this heavy paper on it. It's actually all the bamboo flooring is done. And as I said, they have teams in here. They're working right now on getting all those railings done. You can see they've uh, started down here too. So we will go down to uh, deck one. I want to remind people about the job fair. The job fair uh, that uh, will be this Thursday between 1 and 4 p.m. at Dry Ridge, Kentucky. It's at the Outlet Mall in the Ridge Banquet Centre at the Outlet Mall there in Dry Ridge from 1 to 4 p.m. And if you go to our website, go to arkencounter.com slash jobs. arkencounter.com slash jobs. The other thing is, what's going to happen? You're going to see all sorts of businesses popping up around this area. Most of the jobs actually are going to be generated by the Ark in the local community. So it's, uh, it's not uh, just the Ark that will be employing people but most of them will be uh, in the local community. I see they're working down here on the railings. So you know what we'll do? We'll go back up <laughs> the ramp here and maybe take you down uh, a little bit here on, on uh, deck two before we go down to deck one. Uh, so well, we might walk around here a little bit and then go down the stairs. Uh, so let's... Uh, do that. Come back up the ramp. This is a massive structure. Now, oh, that's right. Somebody asked me how long to go through the exhibits. Well, I'm, I'm going to say this. I think when you get the shuttle ride, the shuttle ride in itself is an experience. I think people will be really thrilled with the shuttle ride because that's going to take you down on that, those beautifully wrapped buses down uh, into the valley across the creek and then up the other side. That in itself is something. Then they drop you at the guest services building, then you walk over and you, you go through the queue lines and you see the program there and the queue lines, and then you come into the ark, and then you've got all of deck one, then you've got all the exhibits on deck two, then all the exhibits on deck three. How long is that going to take? You know, it depends how much people want to read, how much they're going to look at things. My personal opinion, well, let's put it this way. There's a lot of people that go to the Creation Museum and say, wow, you've got a planetarium, you've got special effects there, the beautiful gardens. There's some very unique aspects about the Creation Museum that we don't have here, of course. And also, 
well, there we are at the fairy tale arc exhibit. Uh, and uh, then the walk through the Bible and the life size exhibits and the insectorium and the two story dinosaur exhibit at the Creation Museum. And by the way, we're looking in here at the blacksmith shop and they've done a lot more work on this too. They've basically got it set up. Once they clean in here, uh, it's basically ready. Uh, but uh, when people do all that, I, well, there's a lot of people at the Creation Museum that say, one day is just not enough and a lot of them spend two days and every ticket at the Creation Museum has traditionally been a two-day ticket and we're going to leave it as a two-day ticket. The Creation Museum has about 70,000 square feet of exhibit space. Here, the three decks of the Ark, there's like over 120,000 square feet. Uh, so there's much more and many more exhibits. I think, I think most people, I think you, know, you can do it in a day. And we've got the Painting Zoo also, and the Ararat Ridge Zoo. So you'll be able to do it in a day, but I really think if you want to do it properly, people are going to want to spend at least two days. If you spend two days here, and you spend two days at the Creation Museum, there's four days already. Uh, so a visitor is going to be allowed to take pictures. Yes, you can take as many pictures as you want. The only place that we don't allow pictures is at the Creation Museum in the planetarium because you know that's a theater that has to go dark to see the program on this on the dome and also the special effects theater uh, so we we don't have any theaters here at the Ark right now we are putting in a theater at the back of the Ark it'll be an eight to nine hundred seat theater we'll do all sorts of programs in there uh, but that will not be open when we open the Ark because we still have to uh, raise the funds for that uh, coming down here past the children's interactive area uh, you can uh, see here on the, on the right. I know a lot of that is already completed too. These are the chandeliers. You can see they're, they're getting these all put together here. You see some of them over here. I'll just show you what the chandeliers will be like. These will be all through the whole arc. And they have teams. We have teams of volunteers. By the way, if anyone wants to volunteer to help here at the arc, you've got some expertise or you, or you have some uh, time available to come, uh, you can certainly uh, go to the AnswersInGenesis.org website uh, or call up and, and ask about how you can volunteer. We have carpenters and engineers and all sorts of people who volunteered to come here and help us. But these will be hung all through the ark and they'll look like uh, oil lamps that are all to give it a, a wonderful, uh, wonderful feeling as you go through the ark. And then, and then we have these other, they call them uh, sconce, and you see them here on these posts and they'll be lit up too uh, to get, give it a, a beautiful feel. As we come down here you get a real sense of they're just finishing up on this now so this is uh, the stern of the uh, second deck and you can see they're just finishing this area up here and this will be open when we first uh, open in here eventually we might uh, put some sort of snack bar or something in here but this is going to be an area of people just going to want to walk around sit down and just look at the timbers and look at the craftsmanship involved here so uh, let's go over to this will be the first tower so this is the east tower we'll go over to the east tower and we'll go down to go back down to deck one and this is this is the second deck where you have the big cages. You can see down here, they've already installed those big cages, sculpted animals in the big cages. Deck one has the smaller cages. Uh, there's some more bigger cages over here uh, that they're putting in. So let's uh, go down the exit stairs here in the uh, east tower. So in the east tower, we have the exit stairs here and elevator uh, in this building as well. And in the middle tower, there's two sets of exit stairs and restrooms at each level. And then on the west tower, you have exit stairs and you have elevator too. Uh, so this is where we started actually in here. Uh, we'll give a quick walk around here for those that haven't seen this before, but you can see the cages. The idea is you come in here and you feel, you'll hear the animal noises. There's actually going to be a storm going on down here. so. They've got sounds of, of a storm, probably lightning, thunder, I imagine, uh, as we come down here into the uh, stern in here. And 
I see that they're getting ready to finish up the bamboo flooring through there. Some of this area will still be open when the arc, <coughs> excuse me, when the arc opens. And we will continue to add things over a long period of time because this is such a massive structure. Uh, so we're walking through cages. These cages are all set in place, by the way. They're all where they're supposed to be. And so this is representing you know, how Noah would have maybe uh, stacked the cages on the ark. And uh, this is the stage here for uh, Noah and his family and an animatronic Noah there as well. So as we come in here, storage area, and all the floor here is done, uh, all this cardboard, and that's just there to protect the floor while the workers are still in here. And a lot of this area, they've already got the materials here. for. It, th these are meant to be storage bays for Noah, and there's gonna be burlap bags and all that sort of thing. A lot of that will go in at the last minute, actually. Uh, so as we uh, walk down here, again, all the bamboo flooring is done here. Uh, and which once, once all this heavy paper is pulled off, it's gonna look absolutely incredible. And here we have, uh, oh, this is gonna be the bat exhibit. You can see they put in, yeah, you know, they put in the area here, uh, cages for the bats to be in there. There'll be a bat exhibit. They're not live bats, by the way. They look live, but they're not live. Uh, everything's so realistic in here. So come down here and I see where they've already put the bamboo flooring on, on the ramp here. They're putting in the railings there. So we have the crew working on the railings. You can see how they've uh, partly been installed here on the other side. And we look up there and see, oh, I'm amazed at how much they do in such a short time. Absolutely phenomenal. So we're down here at the bow end now, the bow end of the first deck. We're gonna go down this ramp. I don't know how dark it is down here. We're gonna find out. Uh, but when people exit, we came in that ramp on the, on the side at the back, and that's where we came in on the first deck. When people exit, they come down the ramp, so they don't exit the same way. They exit down this ramp. And this ramp takes you down to the gift store, and it's gonna be a really unique gift store. Uh, let's see what other questions we got while we're walking down here. Will there be an insect exhibit on the ark? The answer is no. <laughs> we really don't believe the insects were needed on the ark or were taken on the ark, so we won't have an insect exhibit on the ark. We won't have an aquarium on the ark either because there weren't any fish on the ark. It was a land-dwelling, air-breathing animal. And you know, you can go to our website, theanswersingenesis.org website, actually, and read about how we answer some of those questions of what animals are on the ark. Also, at our arkencounter.com website, uh, you can go down the bottom of the front page and you'll see a number of links there and you can link on those and uh, get a lot of extra information. So we're coming down, here we go, uh, coming down the ramp into the gift store and uh, the gift store will be over on the right. And I know they've got a lot of things ready just to move it all in. And uh, this is, uh, the, the, the roof has been painted, the air conditioning's in, the restrooms are in. Uh, they're just using this as a storage area right now uh, as they get uh, things ready. So as we come down the ramp and uh, we come out uh, the back door here. Uh, I, when you see how much they've done in two days, uh, I'm, am I'm just amazed at, at the difference. So we come out the end, the bow end, where the restaurant will be. I tell you what will be one of the greatest views is sitting on the deck at the front or the side of the restaurant, looking back up at the bow of the ark. That's gonna be one of the startling views. When I was down here on Saturday, there only, they were just starting to put part of that deck in and uh, also uh, we're starting to lower some of those poles into place that I see are in place and they've already been putting some of the floor of the deck in I see on one side. So that is happening really quickly. So let's go uh, over here to give you a look 
at the front of the arc and we'll try and go down towards the stern end but often when I'm down that end for some reason the phone cuts out so if it does that'll be the end of the video but we'll see how we go as we look up here at the bow you see they're starting to get uh, the outside planking here uh, on the, the bow so let's stop here for a moment and just look up here uh, we'll try and move down a bit get out of the sun so getting towards sunset here at the arc so it's uh, good thing is I can walk under this equipment here because they're not using it right now and they're not working on that so let's look back up here you can see uh, the bow uh, let's go for a walk down beside the arc this is one and a half times the length of a football field and it's built 15 feet above the ground it's 51 feet high and from ground to roof is seven stories from ground to the top of the bow is actually ten stories as we're walking down here these piers you see here they'll be for the ramp that's eventually built to go up into the door of the ark the door on the side uh, we read it in Genesis that God told Noah to put a door in the side so we've got a big door on the side but that's not for the public to enter eventually we're going to have parades and Noah and his family and people dressed as animals and so on will go up into the ark into that door we're going down towards the stern end right now will there be a designated place to take a good photo in front of it that's a good question and the answer is yes there's a couple of places my favorite selfie place is well let me see uh, I'll see if our videographer can look over or zoom in over there where you see a blue structure on top of a couple of the construction offices that are there just over in front of that is my favorite place for a selfie and the lake here uh, the lake will be filled with water in fact they're getting ready to fill that very soon uh, they've just been putting dirt in the middle of the circle road uh, over there uh, near the guest services building they'll be putting an instant garden in there they've got a lot of plants to go in there that'll go in very soon and in front of the lake uh, basically where you dropped off at the guest services building that's going to be an incredible place to get a photo of the entire arc but my favorite place is over where I showed you before it's where the tram road comes up the shuttle road when you come up from the valley and just as you round the corner and then you'll see the arc for the first time just past there a little bit that's my favorite place uh, for a selfie and eventually we'll build a little platform there and and have a path there I'm not sure we'll have that ready when the ark opens but uh, who knows depends on how many people we get coming to help us uh, but uh, as we come around uh, the corner here you can see the stone of the ark there and they're finishing up on getting the planking on that that is absolutely phenomenal this is one of my favorite places now this is another favorite place for a photo and it'll be just over in front here of the stern you can see the big tower there it's one of the towers for the zip line course they've got one of the zip lines already uh, run here uh, I see some other poles over near the parking lot if you look over the way you can see the ticket offices and you can see the parking area over there and I see a couple of zip line poles over there as well eventually the zip lines will be nine miles long and some of these zip lines are 2,000 feet across can you imagine zipping from this tower right here right beside the stern of the ark and zipping across that valley over uh, to that hill over there and we can see some of the poles over there that will connect to other parts of the zip line course you can't do this anywhere else in the world you realize there's only one place in the world where you can zip line across a valley beside a life-size Noah's Ark the most authentic recreation of Noah's Ark in the world and it's right here in Williamstown Kentucky uh, let me walk up here towards the stern if the video cuts out I'll, I'll just end the video there uh, because we sometimes have trouble down here for some reason we still get cell phone signal it depends on, on some factors here but we'll walk up to the stern I'll see if we can walk underneath I want to give you a bit of a feel for what it's going to be like as you go underneath the ark and uh, you can see see how big that stern is uh, it's phenomenal as we come up closer to it and uh, we'll come underneath here 
see how we go uh, as we come under here and they're getting ready to pour the rest of the concrete under here as I can see and you get a real feel under here now for you're going to be standing underneath this massive wooden ship uh, Noah's Ark and uh, they just poured all that other concrete there in the last week or so getting ready to pour the rest and this will be where the queue lines are under here going to the ramp on the other side so let's see if we can walk out in front of the stern here this will be again one of my favorite places for taking a photo uh, so we'll walk over here oh I, I met this gorgeous young lady here <laughs> look at that looks like a construction worker but it's actually it's actually Mally Ham and uh, so here we are uh, the two of us that have been married for 44 years this year in December yep, yep. 44 years can you imagine that you put up with me for 44 years <laughs> so here we are at the, the stern and let's just look up there this is going to be one of my favorite places to take a photo let's see if it works to come out here and then look back while well, the sun we'll have to do it on this side here because the sun is uh, really bright there as it's setting over there in the west so there we are and we're looking down Noah's Ark and what a view that is absolutely uh, phenomenal as we look at that uh, let's see if we can even though the sun might be a little bright let's see if we can walk across and look back at the other side over here so you see the ark there but you'll never get the idea that there are three towers uh, behind here three towers that the ark is anchored to but as you come around the back here uh, then you start to understand how the structure is built in an in ingenious design and we can see here here we are on the other side of the stern and you can see those towers I'll tell you what I'm gonna see if I can do let's walk over here and I haven't done this before either but we're coming to one of the main big zip line towers here uh, where you'll be able to zip across the valley let's see if we can walk up to the first platform I like to be adventurous haven't done this before let's see if I can do it and we might, we'll get a whole different view of the arc from here actually uh, and you'll see the three towers so let's see I know they haven't finished this yet and they'll have to put railings on and so on uh, but here we go as we walk up here now oh. now this gives us a view there you get a view of the back of the ark here so you can see it's anchored to those three towers over the way here is the petting zoo on my right to the back looking back towards the, the bow end you can see down there the 1500 seat restaurant and if we look over this way uh, I can see a construction worker that's walking over there right now this is 8 o'clock at night on the 7th of June but where that construction wor worker is over there uh, where they're walking over near there a little bit further on than where that person is that's where my favorite self selfie spot is uh, so we'll come around back of this platform I see they're starting to put the railings on here and okay we'll look at the uh, first uh, zip line here well wow, look at that belly that is really something yeah you know I, I, I think people just kind of come come one and one two I go up this tower but you look back over there you can see the parking area 4,000 space parking area and look across this valley I don't know whether you can see it on the video but there's a zip line that goes right across this valley it's a pretty deep valley down there over to the other poles and then there's gonna be various zip lines over there going in places even across to the parking imagine zip lining we'll, we'll go over there and look at the stern again imagine zip lining 
past the stern of Noah's Ark and as you zip line across you've got to look back and see the entire Noah's Ark. Yep, nowhere else in the world you can do that, that's for sure. I'm getting myself all tied up in my microphone cord here, so let me get out of that. And uh, let me see, we might be able to go up to the next platform. Uh, so we can go up, we'll go up one more. I haven't got the railings on here, but uh, let's do this. <laughs> I'll drag my videographer up with me and uh, hope that that's not a problem. Okay, and oh yeah, look at that. We just have to be uh, careful here. Uh, the next platform is not ready, but this goes, how many, wow, this goes way up there. And can't imagine working on this, can't imagine working on the arc, on the roof there. Okay, that gives you another view of the stern from the back. Again, I want to remind people in Dry Ridge, Kentucky, which is just a couple of exits north of this Williamstown exit here, Dry Ridge, Kentucky, Thursday from 1 to 4 o'clock, there's a job fair and you can go along there to the uh, Ridge Banquet Centre at the Outlet Mall. You can also go to arkencounter.com slash jobs. Okay, what type of wood did they use? Uh, well, on the Ark itself, on the outside, the trademark name is Akoya. It's actually uh, a radiata pine from New Zealand that's gone, undergone a process in the Netherlands and then it was shipped to North Carolina and milled and sent here as shiplap. And then inside the big, the big timbers are Engelmann spruce. Some of them they believe are up to 200 years old and were killed by beetles and so they were harvested under forestry license so the area could be replanted. And then there's Douglas fir, then there's pine, some cedar, uh, the bamboo flooring uh, which is uh, the bamboo that I, I, I believe it's uh, somehow uh, knitted together. Uh, so let's have a look here. And uh, I think uh, the video is getting a little iffy here. So let's go back down and this may cut out. We'll see how we go, but we're getting near the end of what I want to do anyway uh, for you today. So 7th of June, in one month's time, on the 7th of July, uh, this will open. And that's four weeks and two days time. It's uh, one month time. And so we'll just stand on this platform here and end this video uh, broadcast. Encourage you to go to arkencounter.com. So I'll stand here so you can get the ark in the background. I'm here uh, looking at uh, the parking lot and the stern at the back of me here on the 7th of June, 2016. It's going to be an historic time here as we open uh, the world's most authentic recreation of Noah's Ark, the biggest timber frame structure in the world. Uh, so be a part of it and go to arkencounter.com, find out about all the ticket options and go to arkencounter.com slash jobs, find out about job offerings and we hope to see you at the Ark sometime in the future. Have a great day and thanks for all your comments and thanks for the questions and thanks for telling me where you're from. I know people from all over the world watch these broadcasts and that is fantastic.